Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is going to be another weekly reading vlog for Vlogmas, so it's going to be week three. And currently it is Monday and it's about 10.30. I just finished watching Natural Born Killers for two hours. So like that's like one of the first things I did when I get up. I'm just like, I just need to like, like it's for my final, like a final project. It's literally like my last project of the semester. So I have my exam Wednesday, which is my last exam. Um, and thank you to everyone who wished me good luck on my exams. I really appreciate it. Also, if you can hear all the noises in my previous video, it's my fridge. And usually if I hit it, it's quiet. So we'll try that again. But I made about five pages of notes on Natural Born Killers. So I'm gonna be writing the assignment for a lot of today. But I know, like now I know what I'm gonna write and I feel like good about it. But yeah, I did four pages of notes just while I was watching the movie. And it was really good if you, um, there's a lot of trigger warnings for it, including like sexual assault, torture, rape, a bunch of things that you should keep in mind. But if you're interested in the movies at all, if you're interested in the movie at all, it was written in the 90s and it's about two serial killers that are together and their journey. Also how the media portrays killers specifically. Um, so yeah, it was super interesting. So I would recommend watching it if you're interested in it. But yeah, so for the rest of today, I'm just gonna be working on that assignment. Um, I have a, an appointment today for two hours and then I also think I'm gonna be going to like Dollarama and a few other stores with like my boyfriend and some of my friends. So I think that's what we're gonna be doing. And yeah, um, you guys actually wanted to see a dorm. One of, I think it was Gemma suggested uh, that I do like a little dorm tour. So I don't really have the time right now and I don't really think it could be a full video because it's really not that exciting. But when I do, um, right now it's a little messy. Like I just wanna like, make it a little nicer and then I'll give you guys like a quick tour especially because I'll probably change up my room in January for the new year so yeah uh, I hope you guys have a pretty good day and I'll talk to you soon So it is Wednesday today. I just finished my final exam for the semester for the year. Um, so I'm really happy. I finished my assignment yesterday, submitted that. And my final exam, I literally just finished right now and I'm so excited. So I'm finally free from schoolwork right now. 
I am probably gonna spend the rest of today chilling, playing on the Switch, and then packing up to go home because I am going home tomorrow. Um, so I am going through cities, but like their res is literally kicking us out. Um, but I think we're going back later. Um, and then I think we'll be isolated mostly to our rooms when we get back anyways. So I'm not exactly sure how this is gonna work, but I know that I have to go home technically so I gotta go home and I really want to go home I really miss my mom and my dad and my brother and my cat Birdie I miss him so dearly and I'm really excited to have another holidays at home so you guys will be seeing you know the OG bookshelves I'm gonna be probably filming over the break so you'll actually see my setup from before and yeah so that's really exciting and also Kermathon's coming up so I'll be getting some reading done and yeah Kermathon's in like four days so I'm excited and I'll probably be doing sprints over on the Twitter so I'll put that on the screen make sure to check that out if you're interested in reading sprints they'll probably be at random times like from me and I'm sure Jay and maybe some of the other hosts will pop on and do some sprints but totally up to them but I hope you guys participate in those if you're interested the the Animal Crossing of little unboxing that I did I just want to do like a little speed unboxing of it but I got this like there were so many things in it and I was so happy about it but I got this blanket also I found it at Walmart if any of you guys are wondering or you want it I will try to link it down below as well in case you want it but it comes with this huge money bag blanket <laughs> so I've during my exam I was just sitting there like this doing it so that's how it'd be right now so I wanted to give you guys like a quick little dorm tour this is the back of my door I have a little Naughty is the new nice thing here. I don't even know what's in here. I think there's mints in here, apparently. Um, I have a poster of the crow. I have my it calendar. I have to block off the floor plan, but I have an it calendar and an it poster. And then going over to this wall, I have this big flag that is from Ice Nine Kills. It's inspired by the Nightmare on Elm Street. Uh, going over here, I have my, my hug beautiful and over over towards here I have my bathroom so um, this again some COVID stuff and school stuff on this they give us this for our exams and then I have all of my masks here there's quite a bit of them down here I have a bag from the strand this is the stuff that I'm taking home with me so just all of this my camera's dying um, yeah and then going over here, I have the diamond painting that I'm working on, my one of my new journals for next year, my old journal, a list I got going, um, currently watching a vlog, my laptop, my bookshelves, <laughs> that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, and I just got markers on my Nintendo Switch games. Yeah, I just have the little things here. This cleans your keyboard, sanitizer, lip balm, this is Mario Badescu sprays. I have this dragon's egg up here that my mom actually got me. I love it. Uh, this holds your book open. It card deck, normal people scare me. American Horror Story mug. We all drink down here. I didn't even realize this said this. <laughs> like I ordered it off AliExpress a long time ago and it came in and I'm like, oh, all right. <laughs> so that's there. Yeah, it's currently only eight o'clock. I got my little fridge here. I have to take all those coffee creamers home so I don't forget them. Um, but yeah, I got my Keurig, little straws, a water bottle, vegan hot chocolate, uh, hemp oil gum, and K-cups. My kettle, I had to buy a new kettle this year because my other one just broke. So I got a little one. And my diffuser, these guys. Um, I have this right here. It's for my um, pendulum. And this is just a Nintendo Switch charger. I just have a bunch of little essential oils along here. Ambrose, my cactus is here. A little cauldron this is to water him. Some crystals, my Nintendo Switch case. And then this is in here right now. This should be this way. But yeah, that's just like pretty much my room. Um, I do have to make my bed like nicer, but I'm probably gonna switch the sheets next year anyways. So yeah, and then storage in here, storage under the bed, and the washroom's not that interesting, so yeah.
happy friday so today has been an okay day i got home yesterday from university so i've just kind of been i don't know adjusting being back here and like also like i haven't been feeling the greatest today so i've just kind of been laying low and doing some easy things but i read i don't know why this keeps not focusing what's wrong with this thing is my autofocus off hello autofocus you doing okay sweetie I think we're back yes. okay so I figured that out but yesterday night I ended up reading she and her cat and this is just a cute little manga um, about a woman and her cat and I thought it was gonna be super cute and fun and light and it was like a super easy read of course it was you know I, I like cats and it, like manga usually makes me happy anyways but the thing with this one was the cat was just like always mentioning how beautiful this woman was and like it was just weird like I read some other reviews that kind of a agreed with me but it, there was just something about this and then I also thought I would like skip pages or something because some panels just didn't line up and like the story just didn't add up and I was like did I miss a page but like I didn't and I also read some reviews and I think people like people had the same issues that I did so I ended up only giving this 2.5 but it was it was okay like the in the art was like simplistic and stuff and nice but it wasn't anything out of this world and like the manga wasn't anything too spectacular but too spectacular um however the cat narrates this one so it is from the cat's perspective but if you're looking for something like that i would recommend cheese sweet home so yeah um birdie's been so good and he's so happy i'm home and i'm so happy to see him and right now he's just Right now he's just laying here and look at his little legs. Look at his legs. Look at him. He's sleep. He's sleep. Oh yeah, and this is a little stuffed animal. Another stuffed animal. Yeah, so lots of stuffed animals and broody chilling. And my Animal Crossing money bag. Woo! So oh, today is Sunday, which means it's the last day of this vlog, but today marks the start of Cramathon, so if you guys didn't know that was happening, it is. Um, I'm running it with a bunch of lovely humans, and I'll have the info for all that down below, because I will be running sprints this week, as well as our other hosts, so I'm excited about that. So this coming week, I'm going to get a lot of reading done, just because it's Cramathon, and I don't have school, and I'm home for the holidays, so I'm probably going to, I just have more free time, so I'm going to be able to do more reading which I'm excited about but yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you enjoyed this video and made it to the end comment a cat emoji or the word cat because this dude he loves the money blanket so much he keeps specifically sleeping on this one but yeah thank you guys so so much for watching and I'll see you super soon bye